Hello, it's Keith from Hey Maze Corner, and how are you doing today? Welcome back, this is episode 21 of K Maze Jams, just another Minecraft series. As you see down there near the toolbar there, every time I swing, I've got an indicator of strength. Same with these other things. You know what that means. This is 1.9. Yeah, that's right. World is 1.9 now. And I'm hanging out on top of my pillar of... What is that? <laughs> coal. As you see down there, I had to go caving for coal real quick. Because I ran out of coal to dry out my sponges. That's right. I am still working on this. I got the blue glass around the whole thing. And I'm in the process of draining it right now. As you see. So... That is kind of what we are doing this episode. We're not going to drain the whole thing, probably not, because it takes a little while. But, I have a question for you. I'm sitting on, or standing on top of 27 coal blocks. I have a fortune 3 pick. How much coal am I going to end up with? Let's see, I'm going to guess 75. Okay? Put your answers down in the comments. I wanted to see if anybody come close. And let's get this call done with. How do I get out of this mode? Yes. Let's see what we end up with. Is 75 too much? Probably. I've died like a whole bunch of times also. Um, trying to build up this wall. Oh, I didn't even hit 64. Yeats. Yeah. Um... So let me go show you real quick what I was doing um, and show you what I mean that I, I died a few times. Um, I've got the first row done, but for some reason in these things, the guardians like to hang out in the entrance. And when I was cleaning out this area, the guardians kept on killing me. Yeah. One kill, thank you. One shot kill. So, <laughs> when I was trying to... I forget if it was... No, it was when I was trying to clear it out. Um, I kept on getting hit with Guardian Fire. And I kept on dying here. And I tried to get back here a few times to get my stuff. And I think I died like four times. Let me uh, see what we got. Uh, statistics. Deaths is like times one out. Oh, sneak down. Mob kills. Number of deaths, 11. Wow. I went from 4 to 11 awfully quick there. I'm just a newbie at this game, I guess. So anyways, um, let's see what we can do to make the um, temple less, less filled with water. So I'll be right back in a second to show you how I empty it. And uh, maybe you guys could use this method also. This can sometimes be a little bit dangerous, so you gotta be careful. But um, what I do is I get some free space down here. And just keep my eyes open for guardians shooting me. So I come to the edge. And I build out another five or six blocks. And just keep on placing sand. And watch the guardian slowly come and inspect my worth and see if I'm worthy enough to try and shoot and kill. And seeing that they kill squids, I think I'm pretty worthy and good enough to shoot and kill. But none of them are paying attention to me right now. Which is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this box... It's going to have one, two, it's going to, the inside of the box is going to be five by five. So I'm making six blocks long thing here. And I was actually recording this for, see, I just go over, they'll swim away. And sometimes they'll see me right away again, like that. I just keep doing that until they just ignore me. It's a pain in the butt, but, um... 
I don't really want to use all my invisibility potions if I even have any more left. Plus, it's seven or eight thousand blocks away from where I have my brewing stands and stuff to make the potions. And I am out right now, so I'm just dealing with jumping out of the way of the shots when they do try and shoot me. So this is number six, like that. And then I work my way towards the last edge. What I was saying before the guy targeted me was last time I was clearing out a guardian, um, I think the video I was in the process of making is basically the same thing as this, but my computer died and I lost a world, and I don't think that video ever surfaced because it's still on my computer that has no power, which I have to buy a power supply unit for and see if I can get those worlds off and my other important stuff on the computer because every computer has important stuff on it. Oh, I'm being shot at. Okay. So this is the last one. If you wanted to do a full column across the whole thing and fill it up and clear it out, you can do that too. But this is the way I do it. Um, it involves less sand initially. Start with the east, I think this is. Let me see. Which way am I looking? It's the east. Then put the one on the west. So seeing that it's five by five by five, put it in the east on the third one and toward the middle block, then the west on the middle block. And I just go down three. And I put another one there. Another one there. Go down three. And this is a pretty convenient way of doing it. Um, it's such a big project that there's many ways of doing it. But this is the way I like to do it. It's not exactly the most fun thing in the world to do. And I used to make a joke for those who drain garden temple temples have a special love of minecraft because it's so monotonous and boring that you can easily lose your love of the game i guess you could say for doing something like this but the end results are always awesome so when i get the thing drained i just take out my dirt, sand, red sand, let the gravity do its work for you, clean everything up, then do it for the next row or for the next 5x5 five five area. Sometimes the sand gets stuck, you just gotta hit it and it will start going again. So this is kind of how I drain it out. So I would imagine I probably do a hundred or so of these little chambers to clean out a guardian farm. But um, it's another one of those things. You put on music and you just go with it. And you, after a couple hours you have most of it done. And, and you're like, well, I listened to some really good music. <laughs> so um, just a couple more of these. Because you do not want to get rid of this edge over there because the water is still over there. And doing one of these sand drops to collect your stuff with water coming down on you is not going to be fun. So, after I uh, do that, I rinse and repeat. <laughs> so it's like five minutes per section. But before I rinse and repeat, I have to go collect my... My sponges so obviously I'm not going to show you much more of this on camera because it is pretty monotonous um, and we're not gonna just do this this episode but I wanted to at least give you an idea of what I'm doing on the side 
So this is one of those projects that you kind of just do on the side and not pay attention. You know, don't really make videos about this because it's really another one of those non-video worthy uh, ta tasks that you can do in Minecraft. Tasks. Because it is just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. I showed you how to do it. And I just got to do it a hundred something times and it will be done. <laughs> but I will say, I love the the blocks of the temple. I love these blocks. I love these blocks. So, in my mind, yeah, it's a pain in the ass, but it's definitely worth it. So after um, I do a section and I collect all my stuff, I have plenty of sponge to continue with the next section and plenty of dirt and I just continue doing that. So yeah. So that is what we've been doing. So I hope you uh look forward to what this is gonna be like when I'm done. So I'm gonna go do something else because I don't want to bore you too much more with that. Because I'm boring myself with that. <laughs> and we're going to go work on something else for the rest of this episode. One of the things I like about 1.9 a lot, so you hit the sprint key and you sprint and you just keep on sprinting. Before you sprint and go, well, I don't know, 100 blocks or so, and then your character would slow down and you have to hit the sprint key again. But not with 1.9, which is rather awesome, I think. It's not a big thing, but it's one of those things that makes you go, I like this. Alright, so seeing that we are in 1.9, we need to check out to make sure all our redstone works because redstone changes in between versions and so let's check out the redstones and uh, check out how our villagers are doing. Uh, Ethodor looks fine. Everything works here. That's not a big one. So let's go check out to see how our tree farm redstone is. See if this stuff still works. Oh yes, let's see if, uh, if I can do the sprinting. If it still works. Yes, okay. So it's not like I'm gonna fall into the void there and get stuck in this water supply. I hear the zombie. Is he after me? Oh, he might be underneath. Is that what's going on? I still have to fix this up. No? Hmm. One of these days, I will make the bottom there look like the top here. Are you up on top of there? Hmm. Doesn't matter. He's not going to hurt me. Well, actually, I guess he could because they nerfed the armor a little bit. Okay. Um, secret door right here. Which I'm going to make look, the hoppers are still working, at least on that side. And on that side. So this should still be working. But why is there dirt? Hmm. I don't know, that's kind of weird. What I'm talking about is, look, there's dirt up here. Hmm. Maybe that happened when... Is that supposed to be glass? Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna log in, log back out. <laughs> log out, log back in. See what happens in front of me. Okay, that was really weird. Is that all glass now? Make sure. Okay, the dirt was replaced with glass. Okay. I'm guess. Okay, I'm guessing it still works. And I'm also guessing that seeing that there's grass there and not, um, I mean, not grass, it's dirt, that melons and stuff has formed there. So, because I don't see any melons working. But I'm going to say that... This thing is still a win. What else do I have that's red, redstoney? Um, 
Well, I guess, well, that's not redstoney. This isn't redstoney too, but I just want to make sure that my golem survived the transition. And do I have to make another iron golem? Sometimes your characters disappear when you update. Okay, my golem's still here. Whoops. And it looks like I'm still collecting. Hi, guy. I was trying to right-click the sword to say hi. But, uh, yeah. I can't right-click anymore. Which means I'm going to have to make a, um... A... A shield. Okay, I see my cactus is still working because... Oops, that's not supposed to be there. We'll move along, yes. All this stuff looks good. Um... And I got all these as carrots because I want to feed the villagers. I don't know if I said that. Let's just see how my villagers are doing. And I don't... I could have swore I had more redstone stuff in this world. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. I have one more thing I want to check. And I don't know if you guys noticed this. But there is a, a, a youngin' up there. But I got a shit ton. Excuse the language. Um, then we're gonna go check one more thing out, then we're gonna do a little something to finish the episode. Listen to that. I have a shit ton of villagers here. Let's see. I don't know if you can see the entities because of, um, my face cam. Hi, look behind my face cam. I have 61 villagers in there, so I have to make, oh, and you see a little baby going down there. I have to make the uh, tube to go down here because I have actually too much. I may have to kill off some of them. I want the tube to go right in there, so that's what we're going to do. I've got three more babies in there. That's actually, when I get home from work tonight, that's actually what I'm going to do to uh, maybe that's what's going to finish off this episode because I need to fix that because I don't want all those villagers lagging out my whole world across all spectrums. Just because that's in my loaded chunks, um, it will be loaded wherever I am, which will make lag wherever I am. And I don't want a big laggy thing just because of the entities and the... Uh, and my loaded chunks all the time because even when I'm thousands of blocks away it's gonna be still lagging out the place and the way 1.9 is part of the reason why it's so laggy is they um, cross-reference it things in four different ways I don't really know exact terminology but instead with one entity um, in the past it used to count as one entity but now one entity counts as four I think because it's cross referencing things to make sure everything's alright or something. I'm not 100% sure. I should, shouldn't should even really say this about it. But ultimately, when you have 60 entities there, it's kind of like having 240 there. Did I do math right? Whatever. Spider eyes. Um, so it becomes quite laggy. Pretty easy. And uh, hopefully that's something they're going to fix. But um, at the same time, just... It's not something they have to fix, but I feel bad for people with crappy computers because I spent most of my life trying to play this game with a crappy computer. I forgot about this redstone project here. If this still... No! My food! That was... Betsy, the cook steak. Yeah. Uh, does this work? Come on, work for me. I want to see a whole bunch of lights lit up and the thing go across there and stuff fall down. Yes, and go boom. Boom. Come on. Please still work. Because I don't want to have to fix you. Oh, look at this. It's working. Lots of lights, lots of things. And when this arrow gets there, things will fall. Right? Fall? Fall. Yeah, fall. Oh, fall, fall, fall. Fall, fall, fall. Fall, 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 fall. Fall, fall, fall. Fall, fall, fall. Hmm. Okay, and it looks like from the redstone down there, I think this is working, so... What happened there? 
Well, anyways. I just want to make sure the items are still working. And yes, yes. Um, we're getting stuff. As you can tell, I don't spend much time here. At all. Hi. I want some stuff to fall. Okay. String. And I want to catch some of this stuff going. There it is. Okay. I did catch something going in there. So this is still sorting. Okay. So, um, yeah. Everything redstone wise is looking pretty good on the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and make the t make the uh, tube to drop the villagers into RTD2. And XO had a great comment this morning on the last video. If I'm making villagers inside glass tubes, uh, it sounds kind of alien way. So if you could stick a flying saucer somewhere, that would be awesome. So I'm thinking of, um, I was thinking of making a farm above the villager breeder that would automatically give the uh, breeder, the villagers carrots to um, eat, you know, a constant supply of carrots. So maybe I'll look into that and maybe that's what we'll do the next episode is make a flying saucer above the test tubes, above R2-D2. And basically it would be just a villager farm, a uh, self-contained farm where the villager tries to pass the stuff to the other villagers and it goes into a water stream into hoppers and right into where the breeding hill villagers are. And it's a circular platform kind of, and we could make that into a flying saucer, I think, maybe. So I um been going through this portal to go to where I get my stained clay. And um, it's about a hundred blocks away from the water temple I've been working on. So I decided to make this uh, portal over there for Gar Gar Dian Oh Dian Farm Hmm. So yes, this will uh, go to the Guardian farm now, and the reason why I bring this up, it's not normal that I bring up the fact that I have a new t uh, portal, but um, I was on the edge of the glass in the Guardian farm area, going where would the temple, I mean the portal be nice, and I just estimated some coordinates and Decided to make this tunnel, then made the portal over here and lit it. And let's check out where it goes. I don't think I could have placed it better. The portal formed right here. Right on the top. Not the center top. Well, it is in the center. I mean, whoa. It's dead center. Um, right there. But I stood up there in the glass and estimated like 30 blocks or so, and I made the portal in the nether, and it came right here, dead center. Um, and I thought that was pretty effing amazing. But, as, uh, things go, um, it's not gonna stay here. So I'm taking out these blocks, um, because I want to move this. There we go, let's go get the rest of my obsidian. And, okay, if that, I need to go that way somehow. I always get totally confused inside these temples. Um, because they are kind of confusing. And maze-like. See, I don't want to be back here, this goes to the back of it. I did this last time. Um, let's see... We need to get to the front of the temple. Also, another thing, you notice my mic is in a different place. I think I sound much better up front. You can compare it to the last clip. And from now on, I'm going to keep the mic here, which kind of impedes um, the... Oh, I have enough blocks for this. Do I want to do it where... Yeah, I'll do it where the ladders are. Oh, baby, I'll do it right here. Um, 
So from now on, the microphone is going to be a little bit higher. And this is the last clip I am going to record with the face cam. So this video will be the last video with the face cam. And so some of you will be like, yay. Actually, um, it's not that big a deal. I just don't think it will be nice to... Um, have a face cam video with half the screen of the face cam of a microphone. Sorry. Lost train of thought. Concentrating. It's, that happens a lot. S hey. So, um, this is where I'm going to have the portal now. Let's just make sure it goes to where I want it to go. Whether or not it stays here when the farm is done. Yep, so everything works. Um, I just gotta do one more thing. Come on. Alright. Excellent. Um, and uh, this video will be done. Yeah. That That's not gonna stay there. It's probably gonna end up being over here in the corner. Or, <laughs> that's not a corner. Over here in the center. <laughs> But not the center of the Guardian thing in particular. Once I get the design of the farm down, I haven't even decided how I want the farm to be yet. Um, I will fix that. Oh, I am one block short. Let's go get one block. I would just jump down there normally, but my feet are about to break. I have like 30 durability left on my shoes, and I don't have the means to fix them over here so I am gonna be not jumping and destroying my feetsies my boots anymore until I get back to my real base where I can fix things like that so as you see um, the I'm gonna get rid of this hole too because this hole scares me this is the center of the temple um, most of it is gone as in most of it has no water and so I only have a little bit more left to do <laughs> I talk about jumping and hurting my feetsies that's the reason why my shoes right there don't have much uh, <laughs> durability left because I like to jump around and hurt myself all day long while I'm working on projects so I only have, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, okay. So I only have that row, this row, this row, and that row to finish, so four more rows which in all actuality is probably about four, maybe five hours of real-time work to clear this out. So next episode, this will be cleaned out. And I may just jump away from this place for a little bit because I would really like to get my Iron Golem farm. And I'm debating on the Iron Golem farm on whether or not I am going to... Um, Do the traditional one or a multi, you know, combine multiple villages into one, which is how Tango Tech's Iron Titan works so well. But, um, as I said in the earlier um, video, that I don't think I'm going to do an Iron Titan. Type 10 because that is a little tough on the player. Um, it's kind of like draining a temple. It's monotonous work. It's a lot of work. And I don't know if I want to do a lot of work. But there is a video that takes up a whole bunch of space. And I need to find out if with what I have already made, if I can still make it. And it's on the lines of about 40,000 blocks not blocks 
I think it's 40,000 um, ingots of iron an hour. I don't know if I really want to do that. Um, but the simplicity of it is, well, it's a complicated setup. But the simplicity of the farm itself, once it is made, that doesn't make sense. You have to do make this farm in a certain order or else it's not going to come out right. Um, but if you follow the directions on how to make the farm properly, it's not a hard farm to make. It's just you got to follow the directions. You got to do things in a certain order or else you won't be able to make the certain villages overlap each other. And if the chunks unload, the villages unwrap and it turns into one village instead of like 10, I think it was, uh, or 20. But there is a reset key that I can employ in this that um, if I click it, it separates all the villages again into 10 instead of 1 or whatever the number is. Um, I'm just throwing numbers out at the top of my head. I don't really know, but I have to decide on whether I want to do the multi-village in 1 or just a single village and get a stack of iron every couple hours. Or if I want to get multiple stacks of iron every couple of minutes. So we'll... We'll see what I'm going to do there. But it does mean that I'm going to have to tear down a whole bunch of stuff at spawn. Not stuff I've already made, but a whole bunch of trees, flatten out some land, and make an ugly area. A real ugly area. And I don't know if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to make a just a normal iron column farm. So that's the decision uh, for the next video, maybe. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm going to do in the next video, but my... Main thing is, is I'm not going to make any more videos until I can get rid of all that uh, red sand up there and make this whole farm area clean of water. So it's going to be a few days before I record again. But that's okay because I'm a couple of weeks ahead um, in my video making. And also, this mic is going to be gone and there's no, not going to be any more face cam, so I'm not hiding behind the mic. And uh, because I sound better when I'm this close to the mic instead of far away like this and having you try and hear me at this distance, I think this sounds much better. So, without much more to do in this video, um, have a great day. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Hit the like, subscribe, tell your friends. This is Jams, just another Minecraft series. <laughs> And I'll see you in next episode. Goodbye.